Outdoors bound tonight. Big news with a huge economic impact as well as some bragging rights for our region. The Virginia Department of Wildlife Resources has compiled a list of the top places in the Commonwealth to catch trophy smallmouth bass. And of course, our George Noliff has gotten his hands on that report. No surprise there, Georgie. What does it say? Well, Stoney drew a long story short. What it says is we're sitting smack in the middle of the best trophy smallmouth fishing in Virginia. Hey there, folks. How y'all doing? Even if you don't fish, this is news that affects you. Why? Well, fishing has an economic impact on Virginia somewhere north of a billion dollars. And bass fishing, that's a big part of it. People visit the Commonwealth from all over the world because our smallmouth fishing is so good. Take a look. Oh man, there you go. Okay. Holy oh, holy crap. So I'm only negative four now. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> nice one. All right, so the VDAWR uses a variety of ways to determine which bodies of water hold the most fish and the biggest fish. One way is to count the number of citation fish taken from a lake or stream. When it comes to smallmouth bass, the VDWR has determined the top five, and at the head of that list is the James River. Now, while overall smallmouth numbers are down a bit on the James, big fish numbers are good. That's no surprise for veteran James River guide Rob England of Appalachian Bronzeback Adventures. The, the amount of forage here is just tremendous. Um, I mean, just about at any time, especially, you know, as it warms up and you're able to get into the water, um, it's, it's pretty easy to see the amount of uh, crayfish uh, in the river. I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's not uncommon to be able to walk out in the water when it's warm and, and you'll see 50 to 100 just scurry. That is a smallmouth absolute primary forage. There's also lots of fall fish, minnows, insects for those smallies to gorge on in the James. So the James is at the top, but this story just keeps getting better and better for our region. Here's the rest of the list. The New River, also in our region, is second. It has a history of being one of the best smallmouth streams anywhere. Third, another local stream and a bit of a surprise, the Roanoke River. Fourth is Smith Mountain Lake, no surprise there. Fifth, also in our area, the Stanton River from below Leesville Lake all the way down to Bugs Island. Now, see what I mean, every one of the top five here is in our region, a lot to be proud of, and that is a big draw that translates into fishing business and tourist dollars spent right here. Why were you surprised about the Roanoke River? It doesn't get the recognition, especially as a bass fishery that the others on that list do. However, I fish the Roanoke plenty. I can tell you some big, big smallmouth bass call it home. Those citation reports, they don't lie. Those trophy smallies are in there. The great thing about the Roanoke from above Salem all the way to Smith Mountain Lake headwaters is that there's plenty of public access, so a lot of folks can give it a try. All right, George, thank you. Now staying outdoors, State Park campgrounds open this week. Millions of people visit every year with attendance peaking at more than 7 million in 2022. You can have your picket staying in a cabin, bunkhouse, or even a yurt. Campers are also welcome. Those wanting to stay overnight will need to make a reservation. The Virginia Department of Conservation and Recreation rolled out a new reservation system, which allows a camper to view an interactive map and choose an available site to reserve. Campgrounds open up this Friday.